you made an interesting point about the people that can't move on and then they become disruptive um, in the team and, and create a problem within the team. What advice do you have to um, leaders or, or even new managers about dealing with that sort of problem? The biggest piece of advice is don't ignore it. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, don't ignore it doesn't necessarily mean deal with it. And one, of the, one of the skills I learned fairly early in my HR career was you have to understand some situations, you need to nip them in the bud and deal with it really quickly. And others, you just need to let them blow themselves out. They'll, they'll resolve themselves. You, know, you don't want to be going around stamping on everything. And if you know your people, hopefully everybody that watching this knows their people inside out, you'll know instinctively, oh, that person, that, yeah, they're just, they're, they're, they're giving it that again and actually just ignore it and it'll go away. And the, and the other person, blimey, me, that is unusual behavior to Jimmy. You know, that's, there's something going on I need to deal with it. So that's the first thing. The second thing is to then take advice, right? Because what we tend to do as managers is we see what's directly in front of our face. And what's directly in front of our face is the thing we're seeing as a problem. We see the what. We see the what that somebody's doing. But actually by to- talking to a third party, and it might, be, it might be a colleague in the business, it might be a business coach, it might be an HR professional, but talking to somebody else, you'll start to understand the why. Why are they behaving in this way? Yeah? And if you've got the what and the why, even if the why is an assumption, because it might be, mm-hmm. you can then go and have that conversation. You know, I, I um, in the old days where there used to be networking events, I'd occasionally get asked to do a, to do a stand-up presentation, right? And really a sales pitch, I guess. And I put a le- bit of levity in it. I have a list of the, the things that we get asked in HR. Um, and uh, one of them is my employee has BO, should I tell him? Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I always say, yes, yes, have that conversation, but don't do it in a team meeting. Right? <laughs> 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 but do, because your employee might not know. Mm-hmm. You might actually be doing them a massive favor, yeah, and giving them feedback. And if you have that conversation in this situation with you, the employee who's behaving dysfunctionally, but from a position of seek to understand mm-hmm. rather than let's go in and blame them, then you'll find out what's going on and you've got a chance of addressing it. Yeah. Now, do I think that that will work in 100% of cases? Absolutely not. Yeah, there will, it will in many being that supportive, inquiring, compassionate leader will work in many cases. But there will be times when it, to be frank, it's time for somebody to move on. They'll be happier elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And I suspect we'll be doing a lot of compromise agreements or settlement agreements, as they're called these days, uh, over the next year or two. Mm -hmm. As we address those people who are stuck, and it's better for them to move as well as for their colleagues, their customers, and the the organisation for them to move on as well. But it just needs a bit of... um, Facilitation, shall I say? Yes, 